Good evening and welcome to yet another edition of Yes 101's Visual Radio for the news first team I'm Dithmini De Silva. News first headline. SJB declines support for national government under current presidency. Court to issue order on Kehlia's bail request in August. Dasiri retains a SLFP general secretary position. In news overseas tear gas fired at anti-government protesters in Kenya. And in cricket, Sudarshan Jithesh and Rana added to India's squad for first two T20s against Zimbabwe. The news in detail. The Samagijana Balavegia parliamentary group has decided that the SJB will not extend its support to form a national government under the current presidency. A proposal moved by SJB MP Buddhika Patirana today was unanimously approved by the SJB parliamentary group. In more local news, the Court of Appeal has announced that the decision regarding the bail order for Kehelia Rambukwella will be issued on the 1st of August. This decision comes after the Maligakhanda Magistrates Court ordered the former minister's remand in connection with the substandard antibody procurement and distribution. Today, the appeal of Kehelia Rambukwella was taken up before the appellate court bench, presided over by President Judge Nisanka Bandulu Karnaratna and B. Shashi Mahendran. The bench instructed both parties to submit written submissions, if any, related to the case by the 15th of July. During the hearing, President's Counsel Chandaka Jasundara, representing the Bar Association of Sri Lanka, asserted that the former Minister of Health was involved in the entire process of distributing substandard drugs within the Sri Lankan hospital system. The President's Counsel emphasized that such drug purchases could not occur without the former Minister's knowledge. President's Counsel Dr. Faiz Mustafa, appearing for Kehlia Rambukwalla, clarified that his client's involvement in purchasing these medicines was based on instructions from ministry officials and not due to personal interest. He maintained that Rambukwalla is innocent. The President's Counsel argued that his client should not have his bail request turned down and should not be held in remand custody continuously. In more local news, the Colombo District Court issued an interim order preventing the removal of Dasiri Jasekara from his position as General Secretary of the Sri Lanka Freedom Party and his expulsion from party membership. This decision comes in response to a petition filed by Jayasekara. In light of the ongoing legal proceedings, the interim order will remain in force until the relevant petitions are heard, allowing the Asiru Jasekara to officially assume the position of General Secretary for the Sri Lanka Freedom Party, effective immediately. International News Kenyan police have fired tear gas in the capital Nairobi to disperse anti-government protests. In the city centre, many businesses have remained closed and demonstrators have also taken to the streets of other cities including Mombasa and Kisumu. Human rights groups say since the protests against a controversial finance bill began two weeks ago, 39 people have been killed by security forces. Sports News. Bisai Sudarshan, Jitesh Sharma and Harshtesh Rana have been drafted into India's 15-member squad for the first two of five T20s in Zimbabwe starting later this week. They will replace Andrew Samson, Shivam Doob and Yashaswi Jaiswal, all of whom will return to India with the rest of the T20 World Cup winning squad before flying out of Zimbabwe for the last three games. The victorious T20 World Cup squad was expected to land in India on Monday, but their arrival has been delayed because of Hurricane Beryl. And with that, we wrap up this edition of Yes 101's Visual Radio. For the News First Team, I'm Dithmini De Silva.